Hey guys, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here, and I was hoping to do this video outside because it's gorgeous. It's 73 degrees, the sun is shining, but the wind is blowing like crazy. And even with the wind sock on the microphone, it wasn't going to happen. So I did my live fire outside. Now I'm going to do the talky talk inside. What do I have in this bag? This is a full forge gear. Uh, double pistol bags, really nice. Uh, it's got an accessory pocket for magazines, and then and the inside it has two padded compartments for pistols. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, indeed, the High Point Yeet Cannon G1 TB threaded barrel. And no, these grips did not come from the factory. I am a smart ass and I put them on there. Okay, Rude Magazine, standard eight round magazine. You can get 10 round magazines for them or these seven. I can't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. All right, so there we go. Nine millimeter, I'll open it up. And right here you see the barrel. It's got a thread protector. You take that off, and this is a threaded barrel factory pistol. It comes from the factory just like this. And something that you guys should realize, or maybe you don't realize it because you don't know high points, is that unlike your Smith & Wesson or Glock or SIG or fill-in-the-blank HK, CZ, whatever, the pistol barrel on this gun, the barrel on this gun does not reciprocate, it does not tilt during firing it is fixed to the frame. What does that mean? Well, what that means is when you put a can such as this one here, this is a Tyrant can from AAC. Now the Tyrant can, as you may or may not know, as you should know if you're an aficionado of silencers, but let's say you're not. A pistol can generally needs a spring-assisted piston, which would go right in here, a spring-assisted piston because when the barrel tilts, you need a little bit of cushion in the suppressor to make the gun run reliably. If you do not have a piston in your pistol can, that's a lot of peas I know, uh, generally the guns won't cycle. So whoever it is that makes the cans, whether it's AAC or Atlas or Gemtech or Silencer Co. or whomever is making the cans, what they will generally do is they will put a piston in here, they'll put a spring operated piston, but when you're using a fixed barrel gun, like a carbine or a rifle, you do not want a spring in there. You do not need a spring in there. So what I've done is I've actually removed the spring, put in a solid spacer, a solid metal spacer from AAC because this is a fixed barrel. It doesn't tilt or rotate or move during firing. The only thing that moves during firing is the slide back and forth, right? Uh, something else, okay, the thread pitch is half by 28, 9mm half by 28, right handed, very standard, it is the most standard 9mm thread pitch in America. Uh, I know the Europeans use metric, but this is half by 28, which you would expect. Now look what I just did. I just installed the AAC can. Many of you guys might be thinking, well, what about sights, right? Do I need high sights or the sights high enough? Well, look at that. The sights actually, because of the width or the height of the slide on the high point, actually sit right over the top of the suppressor, right over the top of the can. So you don't need different sights. You can aim at the target and see it just fine. Put the yellow front sight on the target. So there you go. Uh, oh. Before I forget, in this bag, this is a full forge gear. It's what they call their tool range bag. Uh, I've got Barnall Subsonic Ammunition. This is Subsonic Ammunition from Barnall. This particular load has a 151 grain bullet, which is unusual, but you know, it's, they're Russians, they do whatever they want. So this is subsonic, I believe it's rated right around 990, 995 feet per second. So there you go. You can run any kind of nine millimeter you want through here,
But if you want the gun to be actually quiet, quiet, really quiet, you want to eliminate the supersonic crack, ergo, you use subsonic ammunition. Now, can you use this gun with standard 9mm ammunition and it still be hearing safe? Yes, you can. This suppressor makes a 9mm handgun, regardless of the ammo, hearing safe, so it won't damage your hearing. All right, guys, that's, this is the Yeet Cannon G1 TB for threaded barrel. It's a factory threaded barrel gun, and it comes from High Point. I'm Paul Markle. Have a great day.